Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time joining us, welcome, welcome. My name's Cindy Nocum, and we do a little bit of baking, budgeting, and beyond. And today, we're going to cook a roast in the crock pot, and then I'll add some potatoes and carrots later. The first thing, I got a 2.65 pound roast. They had them on sale at Kroger, so it was pretty much half price. It was $7.95, so... That was a good price for a roast. First thing I'm gonna do, and I've washed my hands already, I'm gonna put my meat in there. And I'm gonna add some salt. And you know, this is to your taste. Remember your pepper, oh, your pepper, your carrots and your potatoes are gonna absorb it too. Then some pepper. Put it into your taste. And then, I'm going to add a packet of Lipton onion soup mix. I'm just going to sprinkle that in there. And then I've chopped up a medium onion and just, just rings, and I'm just going to put that on top of everything. My son likes to just eat onions. He puts... So salt in water and dips the onion in it. I've never seen the lights in my life. <laughs> That's how he likes to eat them. So I've, I've left this one pretty big for him. I'll take that one apart. Okay. And then if you watch my channel at all, you know I'm going to get my trusty garlic out. I'm going to put a big heaping teaspoon. Probably about a tablespoon of garlic in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put two cups of water over it. Remember when you're cooking with a crock pot, you don't need near as much water as you do with everything else. All right, so I'm gonna put this on high. Turn my crock pot on, and then I'm gonna cook this for four hours. Put this on high. Okay, I'm gonna cook it for four hours. I'm gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna give that the lid. And then I'm gonna come back, and I will add the vegetables and probably cook it for two to four more hours with the vegetables in it. I'll see how done the meat is. I'll bring y'all back when it's time to add the veggies and we'll go from there. Y'all hang tight. It's Sunday, so let's go. Praise the Lord, amen. It's been four hours. I'm gonna take the lid off the crock pot. This is a fairly new crock pot to me, so I may be off target. <laughs> how long it oh no no that's perfect okay so i just flipped my meat over i don't know why i do that i just do just all like that anyway so now i'm gonna add i'm really cheating today y'all i'm adding 16 ounces of crinkle cut carrots i like the carrots the most my husband being a diabetic he doesn't need a lot of potatoes he likes these fingerling petite potatoes just one package and it's private collection it's Kroger's brand and it's 24 ounces so one pound and eight ounces so now I'm just gonna kind of stir those down in there in the juices and then I'm gonna put the lid back on and I'm gonna set it for low for four hours and that should be about the time my husband gets home from work in this evening all right so that'll take care of that for now. So I'll be back in four hours and we'll see what it looks like and see how it tastes. See y'all in a little bit. It's been four hours cooking on low. So now I'm gonna take the lid off. Smells wonderful. Get in here. If ever, oh yes, everything's done. The carrots are tender, the potatoes cut right in half with this plastic spatula, so that's really good. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this out. Okay, get the meat out by itself. I may need something stronger. I don't think that's gonna be strong enough. Slot it spoon here. See that meat just falls apart. That's, well, you probably can't see that. Let me get it out of this bowl and then you, you can see it. Right. I'm just gonna shut the camera off for a sec, get it out, and then I'll get back with you. Okay, y'all. 
there it is. So we've got the roast, and we've got the carrots, we've got the potatoes. So I've got that out on a platter. So what I'm gonna do next is, I'm gonna, I ladled five cups of the broth into my pan here. And I've got a half a cup of cold water. It's really important that you use cold water for this step. So I'm gonna add two tablespoons That in there of cornstarch. I'm having to think backwards here, y'all. <laughs> okay, so two tablespoons of cornstarch into a half a cup of cold water. When you use cornstarch like this to make a gravy, you've got to mix it up in cold water before you put it into your hot ingredient or it won't work right. All right, so I'm gonna stir this cornstarch and water together. So cold water, half a cup, two tablespoons of cornstarch. So I've got that all mixed up. See, it's smooth. I'm going to pour it in there. And it's... Sorry about that. We had a little bit of a camera glitch. I think my, my camera's getting full. Anyway, so you just stir this, and as it comes to a bowl, it will make gravy. It will thicken up and become gravy. Now, if you don't have cornstarch, you could use flour. Typically, it takes a little more flour than cornstarch, and to me, it's just easier to use cornstarch. But if you don't have cornstarch, flour will work in a pinch. This looks so good. Smells so good. So it's come to a bowl now. Just letting it boil. And while that boils, I'm gonna put me some in a bowl so y'all can see what it looks like. Well, this is one thing that truly reminds me of home because a lot of times on Sunday, Mom would cook uh, a roast and have potatoes and carrots and roast for lunch. Gravy. Okay, y'all. Does that not look yummy? I tell you, I made a cake for a wedding shower at church today, and I will put a picture of it on the end of the video so y'all can see what it looked like. I think it turned out real cute. It's a young couple in our church that's getting married. I appreciate y'all stopping by today. It's been great. It's Sunday where I'm re when I'm recording this, and this is the Lord's Day. But anyway, I do pre appreciate you stopping by. And like I always say, you can be anything. Be kind. Love one another. It's a great thing to do that. That's what God wants us to do. Anyway, that's all for today, y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.